What's up everybody? This is Air Creed Harry. And today I found an old Air Creed sample that I made when I was back in New York. I had it with me here. And um I don't have any other Air Creed bricks made right now. I have some curing. It's going to take a few weeks before they get to full hardness. But I figured uh I have something here I can do a hammer test with. So I'm pretty sure that the mix that I have in front of us here is a 30 gallon mix, which just means I use a 30 gallon container to mix my aircrete. So it's seven gallons of cement slurry and you fill to the top with foam. So that's what the 30 gallon mix is. Now I have my special blend here this is my my own epic mix where I use perlite instead of styrofoam and so I'm gonna hit this with the hammer first and then I'm gonna hit the air creep brick just to see what happens okay so here's my uh, my own epic blend and uh, Let's see how this does. Got two nice dents in there. Nothing else happened. Now I'll put the air creep and uh, I'll give this a whack. Yep. And this is cured for well over a year. That, <laughs> that's what I thought was gonna happen. I mean, holy cow. Uh, I'm gonna do this again with another uh, aircrete mix. One that I used for the foundation, which I actually think this was. I, I honestly can't recall exactly which mix it is, but it is solid and fully cured air creep brick. So if you're gonna say, oh, this brick is smaller than this one, I'll just hit this one towards the corner here. as hard as I could swing with this hammer. Anyway, just a quick test. I figured it'd be a little fun to test out this air creep brick that I had. Peace out.